Welcome to this screencast on Make Learning Interactive Using Google Slides. So I'm going to exit this view and talk a little bit about how you can use Google Slides to create a little interactive learning experience for your students. I know that Google Slides is your typical presentation tool, but it can be used for so much more. And concept sorting, which is what we're going to look at today using Google Slides, is a uh, very great activity to foster conversation between the students and it allows you as a teacher to assess student knowledge. And I'm going to show you how you can easily create this experience using Google Slides today. So as you can see here, I've gone to this slide and you see I have my shape boxes and my information on the side that I want the students to sort. This is very simple to create by inserting a shape. So I'm just going to go to my shapes, choose one, and then draw it out to the size you want. You can add a background to it. Let's change that to a lighter color. And then all you do is double tap and put your checks inside. Now, once I've added my text, my box is ready to go. A tip when creating a concept sort within Google Slides to remember that once you create that first shape box, if you're going to do it like this, then you need to always make sure you just copy and paste that box so that you make sure all your boxes are the same size. And that way you don't have to constantly try to make them um, one particular size each time, trying to make them all even. And you'll also see here that I've added some images in as well. And you'll notice that I don't have them on the slide, but around the slide. And for this, when the students open this, and if you assign this to them in their Google Classroom, and they see it in their stream, when they open it, it will look like a Google Slides assignment, but they can minimize the view down to about 50%, which is what I did, and they will see all of the information here. And what I've done here is I've taken it to a before and after. So the students will get to do this opportunity, this learning experience the first time by sorting these based on what they knew before, kind of like an anticipatory set. Then we can come back later after the lesson has been taught and they can go back and do the after. And this gives them an opportunity to reflect on their knowledge before and after. What did they learn? Why did they think it was this first and now it's, and then you found out it was this one. And so put in another slide for your students that would say, reflect on what you've learned. How has your thinking changed? Just to give kids that opportunity to have that conversation about and reflect on their learning. And both of this activity can be both done as an independent student activity or you can use it in a collaborative way in the classroom to foster that conversation between students about their learning. Another way you can use Google Slides, and this is just showing you another way it can be done. And this is another type of sorting activity, but this one's from the Columbian Math Exchange. So what you do, instead of creating the boxes or shapes, you actually take an image and just make that image the background. So that now, once it's on here, the kids, the image won't move because it's the actual background on the slide. And then you just take the images and they can be moved onto the slide in the correct place. And then this one, instead of having the questions on the slide or on another slide, it's actually put them down here in the notes section of the Google slide. So the students can come here and type the answer to those questions based on what they've, um, where they've put these images on the slide. Another tip is that you may have to, when you make this a background image, you may have to um, make sure you choose an image that does not, that's not too distorted when you have to, when it becomes expanded on the screen, on the background. 
So really think about the quality of the picture that you choose when you're doing an activity like this. And this can be done in science, math, um, I mean, any subject. You can think of ways to use Google Slides in this capacity. And then also in this one, I also gave a slide in the way of thinking of differentiation, creating a slide for my students. They need a hint because this was a part of the actual activity. So I hope I have given you some ideas of ways that you can use Google Classroom to create those interactive learning experiences for your students in, in your classroom. And once again, if you need any assistance with this, you can always contact your school's this or myself at elivingston at oricountyschools.net. Thank you.